Hi everyone, I've decided to paint a rooster today, inspired by the Hobby Farm guys, also on YouTube, who have just celebrated their first anniversary of being here. They tell some really amusing stories on their channel about their experiences as new chicken keepers and the roosters and so on, and that made me think, well, this is a good opportunity to paint a rooster. So I've got my sketch of the rooster here and I'm going to start painting him uh, from the top down. So starting with his head, um, I'll just spray a bit of water on my two reds here and uh, perhaps I'll waken up my other colours to yellow, quinacridone gold, purple. So um, yes, so we're going to start with the red on the bird's head. So we want a nice bright red, too much water. That's better. I'm just painting in his, um, come on, what's that called? So that's cadmium red and alizarin crimson. Sort of roughly mixed together there. And uh, we might want a little bit of red down here later, so I'll just dash that in there. And just lift a little bit out. Now, I'm working from a photo, which I put up at the beginning of the video. I can't do screen in screen at the moment because my iPad doesn't want me to. So uh, you'll have to refer back. I've also put it on my website, um, dianeanton. No, not on the website. The sketch is on the website. If you want to download the sketch of the cockerel, and the photo is on the Facebook page, Learn to Paint Watercolour. I'll put everything in the description below. Okay, so this is quinacridone gold, my favourite colour. And just putting that in there. Maybe we'll put a little bit of orange in there. Um, okay, so just blend that in a bit there. Now, oh, yes, I should remember to wear my wonderful painting boa. I don't know if I can show you this. This is an amazing thing. I learned how to paint, make this on. YouTube. It has a piece of fabric, goes around your neck like a scarf, and then I've attached a hand towel to each end, and then I wear that around my neck. Then I've always got something handy to dry off a paintbrush with, which is exactly what I want to do now. Totally brilliant idea that I got from Lavinia, who is on YouTube too. I'm mixing up a mixture of darks, dark green, uh, dark blue, 
a bit of purple so dark it almost looks black so I'm going to put that in there I need a bit more green just vary the colors it's not not important which color goes where really just needs to be nice and dark and then I'm going to quickly switch to a bigger brush this is my number 14 round and going to pick up some nice green and then flick that in for the feathers darker and some purple need a bigger brush than that so this one so back to the quinacridone gold and some orange red And then we're going to just indicate the legs with some orange. This is again quinacridone. Here comes my handy painting bow. And we're just put some ground in and better go to a bit of a beige colour there. I'm going to have to let this dry in a minute. Maybe we'll give him an eye. Very simple. In a cockerel, I usually just do a dot and a circle. And then something like that. And then here, that's his ear. Okay, so that needs that needs to dry. I'm not going to use a hairdryer because I want the paint to just move naturally. So just a few final finishing touches here. 
I'm going to put some green into the tail feathers and then sharpen up the, the feet, add a little bit of detail to the legs, a little bit more texture to the ground underneath the rooster, and maybe a little bit of shadow and sharpening up of the beak. And then once those last little touches are done, I think we can probably call him finished. So there we are, the rooster's all finished, and I hope you enjoyed painting along or watching me paint this colourful bird. It's wonderful to have a little bit of colour in our lives when it's so grey outside, we need a bit of that, don't we? If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. <clears throat> you can download the sketch for the painting if you want to um, do it that way by going to my website at dianeanton.com. And the original photo for the bird is also on my Facebook page, uh, Learn to Paint in Watercolour. I've put the colours that I used in the description underneath, underneath the video, as well as a link to Lavinia Nova Designs and Crafts, where I got my inspiration to make the painting boa. And I think that's about all for now. It's going to start raining again, so I shall say... Thank you for being with me. Hope to see you here again soon. And bye for now. Bye bye.